Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about how long gasoline can last in your car before it goes bad. No matter gasoline, hey, it's a mixture of all kinds of things. It's highly refined petroleum, it has various additives, especially in the United States where it has to meet certain government standards for burning and cleanliness. It often has dyes in it, just different manufacturers like different colors, who the heck knows. But most modern gasoline in the United States contains about 10% ethanol alcohol. And guess what? Alcohol is hygroscopic. It absorbs water. So the water vapor in the air will get absorbed inside. It'll start corroding stuff inside your car's fuel system. With this addition of 10% ethanol into most gasoline, it's an octane booster. You can't let this gas sit around for all that long or it will start to either corrode, oxidate, and it goes bad. Now the American Petroleum Institute says modern gas with ethanol, especially in the United States, is good for three to five months just sitting there in your car. And they say if you add fuel stabilizer into this fuel, it can last up to a year. Fuel stabilizer like the stable can help prevent oxidation and it can also prevent gummy and varnish deposits from occurring inside the fuel system when it's sitting there not being used. Because you don't want the fuel to break down through oxidation or from just natural separation of all the stuff as it sits there not doing anything, not being burned. Modern gasoline is not made to be stuck in your car and let it sit for two or three years and then come and start it up. Now if you're just storing gasoline and you store it in a completely sealed container, it can last the longest of all possible times. If you put a little stabilizer in it, it's completely sealed, filled to the top, you're not gonna get any oxidation, and it can last actually more than a year. But realize that your car's gas tank is not a sealed system. It's got various vents in it. So if you pour gas in here, even with stabilizer, it's still gonna have some evaporation. It's not a totally sealed system. Now, if you were gonna have your car sit for a really long time, you could go through the trouble of getting a gas cap or plug up the gas filler with something so that it doesn't vent at all, and then go through the evap system and pinch off the hoses so there's no venting of the gas tank and it could be stored that way, but that would be a gigantic hassle. So if you really were gonna start a car for years, You'd want to empty the gas tank out, have all the fuel burned by running the car until it stops running so that there's no fuel in the system at all if you're going to let it sit for years and years. But let's say you're going to let your car sit for a year or less. Here's what you would do. First, you'd pour the stabilizer into your gas tank. They all come with directions. For this, it should put one ounce in for every two and a half gallons of fuel that you're going to have in your tank. Then you go to the nearest gas station and fill it up to the top. And the reason you fill it up to the top is this. The less air that's inside the gas tank, the less oxidation is going to take place. So you want to fill it as high as you can so there's not much air to help oxidate the fuel over time. Then you want to start the car and run it for about 10 minutes. And here's why you want to run it. As soon as you have the stabilizer in there and you fill up with gas, the stuff mixes almost instantly. So the tank's going to be all mixed up. But you need to have the stabilizer and fuel mixture in everything, in the fuel pump, in the fuel lines, in the fuel filter, and especially in the fuel injectors, so that it's all mixed up inside and you don't have any raw fuel that might deteriorate and clog stuff up. Now, when I was younger, especially with motorcycles, if we were storing them, there's a little screw here, and we'd just take the screw out and we'd empty all the fuel out of the carburetor, but you can't do that with a fuel injected system. So by running the car 10 minutes after you fill it up and have the stabilizer inside, you're gonna have the fuel and stabilizer mix in everything so it won't come apart and destroy your car when it's time to start it later. Now let's say you were a bad boy or girl and you didn't do it, your car sat for a while and you started it up and it kind of runs bad. Well, what you want to do is drive it a little bit and then fill it up as fast as you can with new gas. I had a motorcycle like that years ago. I let it sit for years without using it. When I opened the cap up, it smelled like turpentine. It didn't even smell like gasoline because all the volatile stuff had already evaporated off. And in that case, at least it was a motorcycle. So I just siphoned the old crap out of the tank, put in new stuff. It ran a little rough for a while, but then after the first tank was gone, it went back to normal. 
So now you know how long gasoline can last in your car. And since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away some of this fuel stabilizer. For a chance to win, just place a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below, and a winner will be chosen randomly by computer. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.